afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm happy to see you all today. It's nice. We've got some. Uh, it's good to see city employees that are actively engaged in um, and uh, in the management of, of, of how we do our financing for for retirees. My name is Malia Cohen. I'm a member of the Board of Supervisors, and I was uh, elected or appointed by my colleagues to be here to represent the Board of Supervisors. And there's two, I think, things that I just want to offer as a point of interest. Number one, I'm speaking to you not only as a as a native San Franciscan, but also a former baby resident. Many of you know, I've seen and met with many of you, that I too have had a foreclosure um, back in 2008. The banks foreclosed on my home, so I most certainly can empathize and share in your pain and the frustration um, that you are experiencing and, and have experienced. I um, feel very fortunate and blessed to be able to sit on this particular body, to be able to articulate and communicate between many of your concerns and the decisions that we make here um, on, a, on a monthly basis. Also, I understand um, there are two parts to your argument. You're looking that the appointee from Wells Fargo no longer sit on this board. I want to bring to your attention that that decision is based on the mayor's office. Mayor Ed Lee is the ability to appoint people to this board. Um, certainly to my right, to my left, you have a member of the San Francisco Police police officer, a retired firefighter, and you've got other city employees as well as private industry folks that are also working here as well. So you've got, um, I think you have um, kindred spirits here. So I don't want you to walk away feeling like you ha your message hasn't been received and your message hasn't been heard. We certainly um, will t take under consideration the things that you have raised. It's a, it's a concern that I have on my own. Also want to recognize that as a member of the board, Supervisor Avalos and Campos and I, and as several other members have been working to pass legislation to strengthen the penalties for, for banks, and banks particularly that, that uh, began to own foreclosed properties. And my particular concern is, is that they begin to allow these properties to deteriorate, so allowing um, allowing the penalties to continue to accrue and then we triple them. So there are legislative matters that we have, we as a city have been taking within the last two years, certainly that I've been on the board, to address uh, this chronic problem. And you know we have a champion in our, our Attorney General, uh, Kamala Harris as well, with her landmark lawsuit that she was able to get on, on our behalf. Uh, we also have success stories within ACE. We heard from um, Ross earlier. So we need to continue to tell those stories so that other homeowners that are in distress do not give up hope and that they realize that there is strength and numbers. So that's all I want to say to you. Thank you for coming uh, and, and making your presentation today. Oh, thank you. One uh, addition to that.